Welcome to our latest YouTube video, Top Electric Car Companies of 2023. As electric vehicle sales soared to record heights in 2022, the EV market has become more diverse and dynamic than ever before. With almost every major automaker jumping on the bandwagon and some exclusively focusing on EVs, it's natural to ask, which electric car companies should be at the top of my list? We've compiled a top 10 list of electric car companies, showcasing their standout models, impressive features, and significant partnerships. To rank these companies, we've considered factors such as brand popularity, sales figures, variety of EV models, and our own expert vehicle evaluations. Keep in mind, this isn't an exact science, and your preferences may vary. But, this video will serve as a fantastic starting point to kick off your search for the perfect EV. In today's video, we also have an incredible product to share with you that every EV owner should consider, the Schumacher Hardwired Level 2 Wall Charger. This reliable and efficient charger is perfect for your home charging needs. With its Level 2 charging capabilities, you can recharge your electric vehicle up to six times faster than with a standard Level 1 charger. The Schumacher Hardwired Level 2 Wall Charger is not only powerful but also easy to install and use. Its compact design allows for hassle-free mounting in your garage or any other convenient location. Plus, with its built-in safety features, you can rest assured that your vehicle and home are protected during the charging process. Upgrade your electric vehicle charging experience with the Schumacher Hardwired Level 2 Wall Charger. Click the link in the video description below to learn more and get your own charger today. Now, let's move on to our list of leading electric vehicle manufacturers in 2023. Tesla Motors can be credited for paving the way for widespread EV adoption, and it currently leads the pack as the most popular electric car maker. The Tesla Roadster may have been the first to hit the market, but it was the practical Model S sedan that catapulted the brand to new heights. This game-changing car introduced numerous Tesla staples, such as the large infotainment tablet, impressive battery range, and exhilarating acceleration. Following the Model S, Tesla unveiled the Model X, its first SUV and one of the few EVs that can accommodate up to seven passengers. While the distinctive Falcon Wing rear doors were certainly eye-catching, they did pose some issues, such as opening at odd angles and preventing rooftop object mounting. Nonetheless, the Model X remains a top seller in Tesla's lineup. Enter the Model 3 sedan, Tesla's ambitious attempt at creating an affordable electric car for the masses. Embracing a minimalist interior design, the Model 3 relies on a central touchscreen for most controls. Initially advertised with a $35,000 starting price, the first versions ended up costing around $20,000 more, and the standard range Model 3 became a rare find. Today, a Model 3 begins at approximately $44,000 before federal tax credits. In 2019, Tesla introduced the compact SUV Model Y, sharing a striking resemblance with the Model 3 but featuring a rear hatch and additional cargo space. On the horizon for Tesla are the electric semi-truck for commercial use, an all-new Roadster, and the futuristic Cybertruck. As Tesla's first foray into electric pickups, the Cybertruck's unique design and features have garnered significant attention. One of Tesla's crowning achievements is its supercharger network, a series of user-friendly, well-maintained DC fast charging stations scattered across the US for convenient road trips. While initially exclusive to Tesla owners, the supercharger network has since opened up to non-Tesla EVs, albeit with a less streamlined charging process and higher costs. Ford initially ventured into the EV scene with the Ford Focus Electric, but its short range, 
up to 115 miles in later model years left room for improvement. The automaker made a more significant impact with the 2021 Mustang Mach-E. Although the Mustang name's adoption by an electric SUV initially sparked controversy among Mustang enthusiasts, the Mach-E quickly became one of our top EV picks once the dust settled. Building on the success of the Mach-E, Ford introduced another winner, the F-150 Lightning. Borrowing its name from the late 1990s to early 2000s gas-powered performance F-150 SVT Lightning pickup, the all-electric Lightning successfully combined the F-150 truck's power and utility with a quiet, zero-emissions electric motor. In 2020, Ford announced a partnership with Volkswagen to collaborate on EVs for the European market. Meanwhile, Ford's luxury division, Lincoln, has yet to announce a production-bound electric vehicle officially. General Motors' foray into modern EVs began in the late 1990s with the ahead-of-its-time EV1. However, the market and charging infrastructure were not yet ready, and the car was too costly for GM to profit. Fast forward to 2017, and GM introduced the Chevrolet Bolt EV, which followed the low-cost Nissan Leaf and the revolutionary Tesla Model S. The Bolt EV offered over 200 miles of range, a practical cargo area, and an affordable price tag. While not the most stylish EV, it provided a long-range option and arrived before the Tesla Model 3. Over time, the Bolt has seen updates to its range, interior, and exterior, and even spawned an SUV spin-off, the Bolt EUV. Chevy is also developing more EVs, such as the compact Equinox EV, midsize Blazer EV, and full-size Silverado EV, all built on GM's modular Ultium platform. The GMC Hummer EV serves as a halo car, demonstrating the potential of EVs. The Hummer EV pickup and SUV variants showcase GM's cutting-edge technology, offering off-road prowess, tech-laden interiors, and powerful electric motors. However, they retain traditional Hummer drawbacks like hefty weight, high cost, and inefficient powertrains. Cadillac, GM's luxury division, has two noteworthy EVs to watch. The Cadillac Lyric, the brand's first EV, is a small SUV with a wagon-like appearance. Meanwhile, Cadillac is set to release the high-end Celestic Electric Sedan, bridging the gap between mainstream luxury EVs and the ultra-expensive Rolls-Royce Spectre. Hyundai and its sister company, Kia, are South Korean automakers making significant progress in the EV world. They began with the Hyundai Kona Electric and Kia Niro EV, both electric adaptations of existing gas-powered vehicles. Their next duo of electric SUVs, the Hyundai Ioniq 5 and Kia EV6, turned heads with their respective retro and futuristic designs. Later this year, Kia plans to launch the EV9, an electric three-row SUV with a targeted range of over 300 miles. Genesis, Hyundai's luxury brand, is also entering the electric car market. Starting with the GV60, a small performance-oriented SUV, Genesis expanded its offerings with two electric versions of gas-powered vehicles, the electrified GV70 compact SUV and the electrified G80 midsize sedan. These EVs are part of Hyundai's electrification strategy and Kia's Plan S strategy, both aiming to significantly expand the company's electric vehicle lineup, sales, and market share by the end of the decade. Volkswagen initially experimented with the e-Golf, an electric variant of the Golf Compact hatchback, before designing a ground-up electric vehicle. The new ID sub-brand began with the European-only ID3, while the US received the larger ID4 compact SUV. In 2024, we can expect the retro-styled ID Buzz electric van, inspired by the classic Volkswagen bus, 
followed by the ID7 electric sedan. Volkswagen aims to focus on software integration alongside expanding its electric vehicle lineup as part of its Accelerate strategy. Audi, Volkswagen's luxury brand, offers an impressive yet somewhat perplexing range of electric vehicles. The lineup begins with the Q4 e-tron compact SUV and its sportback variant, sharing a platform and powertrains with the Volkswagen ID4. The larger Q8 e-tron SUV, formerly the Audi e-tron, also has a sportback variant, with the Q8 sportback arriving soon. Lastly, there's the ultra-luxury e-tron GT sedan and its high-performance RS e-tron GT variant. Porsche's electric offering is the Taycan, which comes in various trims, including the popular 4S, GTS, and turbo models. The Taycan Cross Turismo is a wagon version with added cargo space, available in 4S and turbo trims. The Sport Turismo GTS provides a midpoint between the Cross Turismo 4S and Turbo, featuring a lowered ride height. Both Bentley and Lamborghini, also part of the Volkswagen Group, plan to release EVs, although no production vehicles have been unveiled yet. Nissan has been a trailblazer in the electric vehicle market since the launch of the Leaf in 2010. With over 500,000 units sold by 2020, the LEAF became one of the best-selling EVs worldwide due to its design, affordability, and impressive range. Nissan's e-power technology combines electric drivetrains with a gasoline engine for a unique driving experience without the need for charging infrastructure. The company's EV lineup also includes the stylish and modern Nissan Aria crossover, showcasing their vision for the future of mobility. Committed to sustainability, Nissan invests in global charging infrastructure and aims for carbon neutrality by 2050. The company's dedication to a greener future is further evidenced by recycling initiatives like reusing old EV batteries for energy storage solutions. As Nissan continues to innovate and expand its electric vehicle offerings, it remains a dominant force in the electric mobility landscape. BMW's IA models represent its electric-only vehicles. The brand initially introduced electrified cars with the compact i3 hatchback, offered as a pure EV or with a two-cylinder gasoline range extender, and the sleek i8 plug-in hybrid sports car. Currently, BMW's lineup features the EV-only i4 compact sedan, i7 executive sedan, and iX midsize SUV. These latest models come packed with technology, including the most recent version of BMW's iDrive operating system. Additionally, BMW provides plug-in hybrid versions of many major models. This impressive range of electrified vehicles is part of the company's Power of Choice global strategy, which aims to offer a variety of vehicles tailored to customers' needs. Mercedes-Benz stepped into the modern electric vehicle era with the introduction of the B-Class Electric in 2014. This van-like hatchback, adapted from the overseas-only B-Class, offered a range of around 100 miles. However, the company's first vehicle designed as an EV from the ground up was the EQS Large Sedan. Mercedes adopts a naming structure similar to its gas-powered vehicles, adding the letters EQ in front. The EQS is roughly equivalent in size and price to the S-Class, although they're highly differentiated. At the lower end of the range is the EQB, a small SUV and the only vehicle in the EQ lineup essentially being an electric version of a gas car, in this case, the GLB. Following that, there's the EQE sedan, which serves as the E-Class equivalent. The sport utility version of the EQE is the EQE SUV. Lastly, there's the aforementioned EQS and its crossover variant, the EQS SUV. 
Mercedes EVs boast a wide cruising range anywhere from approximately 240 miles to over 400 miles, according to real-life range tests. Rivian is a California-based automaker with a factory in Illinois. It currently offers two vehicles, the R1T, an all-electric pickup truck, and the R1S, an SUV variant. The R1T was one of the first all-electric pickup trucks available, followed by the larger Ford F-150 Lightning. Amazon is a major investor in Rivian, and in 2019, both parties struck a deal for Rivian to produce around 100,000 electric delivery vans for the e-commerce giant. That same year, Ford invested $500 million in Rivian and announced a partnership to develop an EV for the Lincoln brand. However, in 2021, Ford revealed that it was backing out of the deal and would go it alone. Rivian is also currently in talks to back out of the Amazon deal after the e-tailer purchased fewer vans than expected. Lucid is a US-based company with a factory in Arizona. It is a relatively new automaker and has made a big impact with its high-end luxury electric vehicle, the Lucid Air. The Air is a large sedan that competes with the Tesla Model S. There are several trim levels available, and each is distinguished in terms of performance, range, and features. Depending on the configuration you order, the Air can come with a 1050 horsepower dual motor setup with supercar-like acceleration, or can travel upward of 500 miles on a single charge. These vehicles are not inexpensive. At the time of writing, the Air starts at around $87,000 for the pure trim, and can skyrocket to $250,000 for the upcoming 1,200 horsepower high-performance Sapphire version. The long-range Grand Touring trim sits in the middle of the range and starts at about $138,000. The car companies mentioned earlier aren't the only ones producing electric cars. However, not all of them have had the same impact or variety in their lineup. Toyota, for instance, is one of the biggest automotive companies globally, but its first vehicle designed as a pure EV, the uniquely named BZ4X, arrived late and didn't bring much innovation. It's a similar story with Lexus and its RZ450e, which looks, feels, and drives nicely but has a range that isn't competitive with other EVs at its price point. Subaru jointly developed its first EV, the Solterra, with Toyota. And while it offers solid off-road performance for an EV, it suffers from the same issues as its Toyota cousin, mediocre range and a polarizing driving position. Volvo has offered several plug-in hybrid vehicles in recent years, but its first all-electric vehicle was the XC40 Recharge, a subcompact luxury SUV. Next came the Volvo C40 Recharge, a variant of the XC40 with a sloped rear roofline. These sibling EVs give a great first impression, but the C40 suffers from poor rearward visibility and both have EPA-estimated ranges that are low relative to their competition. Late in 2023, Volvo will launch the EX90, a three-row luxury electric SUV with an estimated range of about 300 miles. Polestar, once a company that modified and produced high-performance Volvos, has since been spun off into its own electrified company with unique vehicles. The first vehicle produced was the Polestar 1, a handsomely styled plug-in hybrid coupe with a short two-year lifespan. Polestar's more mainstream model is the Polestar 2, a small liftback sedan competing with the Tesla Model 3. However, a high starting price relative to its competition, and a less efficient EV motor hold the Polestar 2 back from making it to our main list. Later in 2023, Polestar will launch its Polestar 3, the brand's first SUV, aiming to compete with the Tesla Model Y.
Mini, part of the BMW Group, began testing its Mini E in 2009. The first all-electric Mini Cooper was available as a lease-only vehicle and sold in small numbers. Roughly a decade later, the British brand launched the Mini Cooper SE, an all-electric version of the third-generation Mini Cooper two-door hardtop. But while the Mini Cooper SE matched the fun-to-drive nature of the Mini brand, its low range and lack of utility for larger families held it back from reaching a higher tier in our rankings. And there you have it. We've covered some of the major players in the electric vehicle market and their exciting offerings. As the automotive industry continues to evolve, we can expect even more innovative and environmentally friendly options to hit the roads. Remember, this list isn't exhaustive, and new players will keep emerging, adding even more variety to the market. Thank you for joining us on this electrifying journey through the world of electric vehicles. If you found this video helpful or interesting, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos and until then, happy driving, and let's make the world a greener place together.